kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and games. What is up, people? Showing up the king here back with another video. And today, I'm doing something new. New content on the channel. New things happening in 2020. Is going to be fun. All right. So, one thing that I had always wanted to start doing now that I um, collect action figures and it's fully integrated into my content is I wanted to do a constant stream of, uh, of news. So I am very active on my um, Instagram page and you guys should be following the Magnerd podcast, M-A-G-N-E-R-D podcast on Instagram because that's where I post a lot of things. I have my two minute toy review. It's an opportunity for me to review mostly Marvel Legends um, that I am not doing like a 15, 20 minute review on. Gives you an opportunity to see some of the newest lines that come out and uh, see how they look in just a two minute format. Also, I do bigger action figure reviews on my YouTube channel. You guys recently had uploaded a uh, review for the um, Gundam Metal Frame Red Kai Stray. Um, I also did a uh, video metal build, not a metal build, but it was an Optimus Prime from Flame Toys. Lots of content on the channel. Um, you guys also can follow the uh, Magnet Podcast fan page on Facebook. Links will be all in the description below. But today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about Hasbro Fan First Friday. They did this past Friday. And they announced a lot of things, just in general, a lot of toy news has been announced this past week, this entire like past three days. So I want to just com compile a list of everything and just kind of talk about it, my thoughts on it, what looks good, what you probably should avoid, you know, things like that. So um, without further ado, let's get into this. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is actually this Rogue from Age of Apocalypse. So they announced this at uh, Hasbro's Fan Friday. And it looks like they um, changed the hair, the hair from the original one that we saw at the Toy Fair 2020. Um, honestly, the Rogue looks good. Again, I already have the 90s style Rogue, which is the Rogue that I am mostly familiar with. For some, and again, I understand this is Age of Apocalypse, but for some reason, I still don't think that they have nailed Rogue's face. Not the iconic 90s Rogue. Even the one that came in the Juggernaut Builder Figure Wave, to me, it is the best Rogue we have thus far. Let me be clear. But again, it still feels like I'm not capturing that beautiful Southern Belle face that we got from the 90s show. And again, I understand Age of Apocalypse is different. She just looks more mature in the face. So again, I'm going to still pick it up because it's Rogue. And I also don't, and this might seem weird, maybe, maybe it's just a fan of me. I also don't like how... The shirt that she's wearing because if I remember correctly it didn't look like that in the age of apocalypse so again correct me if I'm wrong but I am excited for it but again it's not something that I'm going to just run out and just grab on uh you know if if on day one also now this is one that I am definitely excited about this is uh Nimrod this is going to be a uh, Marvel Legends deluxe figure this is not going to be a builder figure um it actually comes with two different heads. It comes with the standard head that you see here, but then it also comes with a original Nimrod head that actually mirrors the one from the 90s television show. And again, the wings on the back are removed. He also comes with repulsor blast hands. I mean, this figure is gonna be a must have for any, any Marvel Legends fan. Uh, they also announced with the new ball, the new non-peg, uh, system that they have this is going to be old man hawkeye um they really hyped this figure up you know they really um, are talking about how awesome his face sculpt looks and again I, I have to agree like i currently don't have a hawkeye in my marvel legends, legends collection the closest hawkeye that i did have was from sh figure arts from uh, avengers endgame so i definitely will pick this up i do think that um old man logan was one of my favorite um comic book series of all time so uh, i definitely will Picking this up now one thing they also did tease was just his foot to just kind of show off a new line that would be coming probably 2020 or 2021 i guess it's 2021 and all they did was show it with a foot 
And to me, I um clearly think, and I think most people surmised that this was uh, Sebastian Shaw from the Hellfire Club. Um, they're really the only ones who kind of wear like this, like, you know, old old school looking like shoe. So um, I, I definitely think that's Sebastian Shaw or other members of the Hellfire Club. I just wonder if this is like a build a figure wave, and maybe the um, the build a figure could be like Phoenix. I mean, I could hope. So we'll we'll see what they do with that. But uh, I thought that was interesting. Now this is what I really wanted to talk about. All right. So what you are looking at is the Sentinel leg from the Haslab project, the fan project that they're working. On. Now I am a part of a lot of groups online, and I'm a part of just the online community when it comes to Marvel Legends and action figures. General and there's been a lot of confusion about this image and about what it is and what it's not And it's almost to the point where it's frustrating So I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of clear the air and just let everyone know what it is and what it isn't now what it isn't is It is not a builder figure piece for a new builder figure wave in this in the live stream I can't and I'm not even gonna to try to remember these guys names because again to, to me as far as like Whatever, anyway. So, in the live stream, he announced that there would be a Build-A-Figure wave in 2021 that would be known as the biggest Build-A-Figure that they have ever done. Even bigger than Fing Fang Foom, even bigger than Galactus. They said that. So, then, and again, let me be clear. At that point, he did not jump right into the Sentinel. The other people talked. There were three guys on the stream. So the first guy mentioned something. He mentioned the biggest builder figure ever. And then the other guy talked about the Spider-Man retro wave. And then they were wrapping things up. And then before they wrapped up, they he bought out the Sentinel leg. So the problem is, is that people are now assuming that the biggest builder figure that they've ever made is this Sentinel leg that you see in front of you on the screen and that is not the case because at toy fair 2020 at the end of toy fair 2020 they announced that has lab was working on a new project and they started rolling footage and in that footage it was the scene from the first season of the 90s x-men show where the sentinel was chasing down jubilee and it you could see through the sentinel vision him tracking a mutant and then that was pretty much it and they just basically confirmed that Haslab is working on a sentinel project similar to unicron now in this image then he sits out jubilee and wolverine and drops this big sentinel leg now that is talking about the Haslab sentinel now whether it's a sentinel whether it's master mold my guess is that it's a sentinel because if it was master mold that foot would have to be even bigger because again we all know that master mold is bigger than the sentinels so definitely just wanted to make sure that everybody was fully aware of what this is and what it isn't um again it looks amazing i don't care if it's four to five hundred dollars i will be buying it so again let's just move on they also announced that this was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Uh, these are the AIM soldiers. Um, these are the fodder soldiers that a lot of people, you know, the ACBA um, crowd, just people who take a lot of um, action figure photos, they kind of need like those minions that can get beat up by the, um, by the heroes or the villains, however you decide. So they had these that came out, and these are still, as far as I know, these are still on Hasbro Pulse's website, and you can only get them on Hasbro Pulse's website. And they are $14.95 each. And again, one thing to note, and um, I did not know this, that even though they show two figures on the box, they only come in sets of one. So um, if you definitely want to build out your figure, you're going to have to buy them. And again, like I said, they could have been selling them for $20 for one, but they did it for $14.95, so that's not bad. Uh, also, from the um, Hasbro Pulse thing, and this is definitely something I'm going to be picking up, they also announced another deluxe figure for $29.99. And this is the Age of Apocalypse. Um, Apocalypse. Uh, he definitely will be in the same body mold as the Apocalypse that we got from the Builder Figure Wave. Um, I'm wondering if those shoulder pads on him will hinder articulation, but it does look good. And I do currently have an Age of Apocalypse um, set up in my one of my details, so I'll be switching out my uh, '90s style Apocalypse with this one when I do pick it up. And it is available on pre-order 
on all retail websites, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, etc. Uh, also, one of the other things that they did announce at the uh, Hasbro first is the 90s style um, Spider-Man retro wave. Um, this is actually pretty awesome as well. Um, I liked a lot of the figures. Uh, honestly, what I'm going to pick up for me personally, I'm going to get the Shocker because I, I say Shocker, uh, Electro. I'm also going to get Green Goblin and I'm going to get the Spider-Man. Uh, everything else um, I can probably do, do without. I'm not really a huge like disguise guy. So, and again, I really don't. Uh, I might actually go get Gwen Stacy. I, 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 I'll I take that back. I might actually go back and get Gwen Stacy. Um, but everything else, I'm probably going to skip. But again, it does look like an amazing wave. It's similar to the 90s style X-Men wave that they did. No, um, last year. Uh, last year, I think. Yeah, last year. Uh, so that was pretty much it for uh, Marvel Legend news that I wanted to talk about. Um, also, just so I can just, you know, keep it moving. Um, SH um, Figure Arts also announced within a week or so that they are bringing out a Piccolo 2.0. Um, he has not gone up for pre-order yet, but um, this is actually definitely something that I'm definitely wanting to get my hands on. As you can see, that um, it's going to be modeled after the King Piccolo that they just released for Dragon Ball Wave. And again, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, the cape itself is not art. The cape itself is articulated, but it's on a ball peg, so it doesn't actually have like bendy wire or claw. So I'm pretty sure there are a lot of customizers out there that's going to be doing some custom capes for this figure. I also do enjoy the fact that they actually gave him the one arm situation from when Raditz knocked it off. So I also do love that as well. The only thing that I am kind of upset about is that they could have easily have given us the special bean cannon. But other than that, it does look amazing. And of course it will come with the Tamashii Nation stand. So again, this is definitely going to be a pickup for anybody who wants a... Uh, collecting the Dragon Ball. Um, also, they announced a uh, Frieza Saga Gohan, and it looks like he will be coming with a one-star ball. We don't have any more information available right now other than what the picture you see in front of you, but uh, that's definitely uh, going to be something that everybody else wants to pick up as well. Uh, to finish things off, I um, just want to talk about Mayfex. Uh, Mayfex is slowly becoming one of my favorite brands. Um, at first, it was Amazing Yamaguchi, and of course, you know, with SH Figure Arts, Mayfex has just been killing it. And they just announced that they are coming out with a new Gambit, and it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I already have the Wolverine that they um, that they released, and I already have the Cyclops. I do have reviews for all of those figures on my YouTube channel. Just go through my history, you'll see it. And I actually really enjoy all of those figures. Now, I know there was a little bit of controversy with the Cyclops, but again, in my eyes, that Cyclops was amazing. And this Gambit looks to be just as good as you can see from the image above. Uh, he's going to come with a lot of effect pieces. He's going to come with uh, multiple throwing hands. He's going to come with charge effects for his bow staff. And he's going to have like just playing cards that are lit up. And he's going to come with two different expressions. I mean, this thing looks absolutely amazing and it is now up for pre-order on a big bad toy store and other retailers so you can go out and try to pre-order this right now also available for pre-order is the avengers endgame uh, captain america he comes with a broken shield a regular shield he comes with thor's hammer with an electric effect and he comes with a twirling hammer effect um, again this does look really good i would have picked this up but I already own a pretty good looking um, Captain America um, from Marvel Legends. Um, and I also have the uh, Not A Studio custom hammer with it. Now, I might end up getting this anyway just so that I can do a proper review where I can, because I love doing versus reviews. So, for that purpose alone, I might end up picking this up. But again, I have not decided. And uh, last but not least, I wanted to show off this Mandalorian. So, this is not the SH Figure Arts Mandalorian. This is the Apex Mandalorian in the Baskar armor. Um, and again, as you can see, we, it, it looks like it comes with uh, Baby Yoda. Now, that is actually pretty awesome if it does, because the SH Figure Arts version, actually, you had to buy them separately. So this one actually looks like he might actually come with a Baby Yoda, but it looks like this Baby Yoda might not be articulated. So 
once more information comes out, I'll let you guys know. But again, this thing looks amazing. And again, it is from Mafex. And it actually looks like he has a... Um, it doesn't look like it has bendy wire in it, but it does look like it's a cloth cape. So again, that looks amazing. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this kind of content, definitely just subscribe to the channel. I am actually doing a contest. So I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. And what I decided to do was I am going to do a giveaway. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I have some extra action figures in my collection that are not open. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have about four or five of those um, probably by the time that I actually hit a thousand subscribers. And what I'll do is I'll do a raffle and then I'll go through my list of subscribers and at random I'll pick somebody and they will win uh, one of those action figures. And I think right now two that I do have is I do have the Iron Patriot, not the, uh, the multicolor one from the Marvel Legends wave. And then I also have Taskmaster. Um, I do have a couple other ones that I'm looking through to see what I'm going to uh, give away in this uh, prize as well. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the Magnerd Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the uh, Shun of the King YouTube page for more details. And again, I will be posting more information on the Instagram page in regards to the contest. Uh, thank you guys so much and have a good one.